Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Read English channel. I hope all of you are doing great and having a good time. My dear students, this particular video is definitely going to be an eye-opener for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. Majority of the students preparing for the NEET examination, they miss out the things which I'm going to let you know in this particular session. People, chemistry has always been your second most scoring subject every year in your NEET examination. If you score less than 160 in chemistry, then it's very, very, very difficult for you guys to crack the NEET examination. So one thing that has to be in the mind that in your chemistry, the score has to be more than 160 for sure. Then only you can crack the NEET examination with a good score. Now, what exactly I'm going to tell you in this particular video, please and please focus on each and every point. Focus on each and every point, whatever will be discussed in this particular video. My dear students, lot of students, I would say majority of the students, they miss out certain things during their preparation. But I do not want you guys to miss those things in these last 70, 75 days. Please and please have a proper eye, have a proper connection, have a proper focus on the things which I let you know in this particular session. So have a look one-on-one, -on -one, which will be discussed with you. Okay, all the points which I've mentioned over here, I'm going to give their proofs as well in some time. So please stay with me till the end. My dear students, when it comes to your chemistry paper, when it comes to your framing of your chemistry paper, let me tell you 50%, I would say 50% of the entire chemistry paper that will be directly NCRT book from book. That will be directly NCRT based. 50% of your chemistry paper will be directly from your NCRT book, my dear students. Okay, now what does that mean? What does it mean that 50% of your paper will be from your NCRT book? Let me tell you, 15% of the questions, 15% of the questions, when the, when the examiners, when they frame the paper, let me tell you, 15% of the questions of chemistry, they are directly taken from your NCRT in-text section in text section, 15% of the questions, number one. Number two, 20% of the questions are derived from NCRT exam -er and NCRT indirect sources. Particularly, I'm talking about NCRT exam -er. 20% of the questions will be directly indirectly asked from your NCRT exam -er, which I'll show you in some time. My dear students, approximately there'll be 10 questions which are directly asked from NCRT exercise. Direct, direct questions will be copied and pasted from your NCRT exercise and there will be approximately 10 questions in your chemistry section which will be asked from that particular section that is NCRT exercise question. Around 10 questions they will be asked from J mains and NEAT PYQs as well as the AI PMT PYQs. So 10 questions will be directly taken from the PYQs of J mains uh, and your PYQs of NEAT as well as your PYQs of AIPMT. So this is something which first of all you have to take into your consideration. This is something which you have to remember. And I'm pretty much sure till now you are missing out these things for sure. You are only focusing on class notes. And my dear students, class notes are very important. But apart from that, these things are super important which cannot be ignored at this particular point of time. 50% of your entire chemistry paper will be directly from your NCRT book, my dear students. And in that, 15% questions will be directly from NCRT in text. 20% of the questions are derived from NCRT exemplar. And 10 questions are based from your NCRT exercise. And the remaining 10 questions, they'll be asked from your J mains PYQs, the NEAT PYQs, and the AIPMT PYQs. Now let's have a look. Why am I giving you this particular data? Right? What is the source of providing this particular data? Let me show it to you. My dear students, let's have a look on all this data with 100% proof so that you'll get satisfied uh, with whatever I'm saying that's 100% correct so that you will try to focus on all these things with 100% honesty from now on. Okay. Now in your physical chemistry, in your physical chemistry, my dear students look at this particular question. One simple question, the graph between ln k versus 1 by t, ln k versus 1 by t. This question is your NCRT exemplar question which is on page number 48, directly copied and pasted, directly copied and pasted, okay? 
So NCRT exemplar plays a vital role. Number one. Number two, look at this particular question. The question from atomic structure. And the question which is asked in NEET 2021 directly copied and pasted with the same values from your class 11th NCRT page number 39. Okay, directly copied and pasted with the same values. Right? Look at this particular question. Well, uh, this particular question is from the chapter solid state. Now it's deleted from the syllabus. But then still to show you as a proof, if you look at this particular question, this was again directly taken from your NCRT class 12th page number 10. Right? But right now, this is not in your syllabus. If you look at the electrochemistry part, the question which has been asked in NEET 2021, the question directly with the same values almost copied and pasted from your NCRT in-text. NCRT in-text questions, I keep on telling you all the time, NCRT in-text questions are very important and see exactly questions are copied and pasted. Right? With almost almost the same values. Right? Values might be somewhat different. Right? Might be somewhat like a different, but that's fine because the question pattern is definitely the same. When you talk about your inorganic chemistry, again in your inorganic chemistry, my dear students, your NCRT, we say it's a Bible of it. If you look at the question, for example, the NEET 2024, right? These were four of the molecules wherein you were supposed to join them with their shapes and geometries. The question directly copied and pasted from the table, right? Chemical bonding chapter. So tables are again very important in chemistry as well. I know. You study tables in biology, but in inorganic chemistry also, you have to do all the tables, right, with perfect accuracy, with perfect precision, right? You have to read these tables properly, okay, in your inorganic chemistry particularly. Look at this particular question. Again, the question from chemical bonding, right? Intramolecular hydrogen bonding, need 2024. The question directly copied and pasted from this paragraph of your NCRT. So again, the index question, right? Similarly, look at this particular one. Uh, Z is equal to 40, Z is equal to 72. Have the atomic and ionic radius because of what? Need 2021 question. Again, the question directly copied and pasted from your NCRT. So, the point of saying all this, the point of saying all this, which of the following? Oxoacid of sulfur has O single bond O linkage. Again, the question from the structures which are clearly mentioned on your NCRT. Right? So, people, whatever I'm telling you, that NCRT from your NCRT, 50% of the paper consists of your NCRT directly, NCRT book directly, right? Please, once you're done with the syllabus, or if you're currently doing the syllabus, while doing the syllabus, while watching the lectures, please and please focus on your NCRT as well, because directly questions are copied and pasted, which you cannot miss at any cost. Similarly, if you look at organic chemistry also, normally we say organic chemistry, there is no need to study NCRT, just your notes are sufficient, I must say, your NCRT is much more important than your notes at this particular point of time when it comes to your organic chemistry as well, right? My dear students, directly, directly questions will be taken from the paragraphs, right? Like you can see, NEET 2024 question, identify the uh, correct reagents that would bring about the following transformation. Something is given and directly from this paragraph, the question has been taken. Similarly, look at this particular question, identify the compound that will react with Hinzberg reagent, right? Again, the question directly taken from your NCRT. Right? In your organic chemistry as well. Similarly, sucrose on hydrolysis gives what? Again, the question directly copied and pasted from your NCRT. My dear students, again, look at this particular question. IUPAC name. Again, directly question taken from the, uh, from the NCRT itself. Okay? So, the point is, you cannot miss out. The point is, you cannot miss out your NCRT at this last stage of your preparation. I know you have been studying day and night. You have been studying day and night, following, making your notes, following the lectures properly, doing a lot of PYQs. But I'm sure in your chemistry, majority of the students would be skipping the NCRT, which is definitely wrong. Right? So people, one thing I'm telling you right now, in these last 70 to 75 days, I know you're doing a revision from the notes, right? Apart from the notes, just study these lines of your NCRT one on one. Take almost, almost like one hour every single day to read this NCRT every, every day, I must say. Okay? So, conclusion, my dear students. What is the conclusion of this particular session? What exactly am I trying to convey over here? My dear students, PYQ analysis, that is something which is very important. When you solve the PYQs from the PYQs itself, you'll get the idea of what are the frequently asked topics in the NEET examination. And you have to prioritize the maximum. You have to prioritize the maximum. I mentioned it over here. Review the past five years of examination questions 
to identify the topics that are consistently asked and then focus on practicing questions on these topics only right okay people this is something which is the perfect data you have to focus 80 percent of your time you have to allot 80 percent of your time on the most repeated topics which have been asked in the need examination and 20 percent on the others i'm going to a uh, few days back i have made one video in which i have given you the most repeated topics right I'm going to comment in its link in the comment section of this particular video. If you have skipped that particular video, watch that so that you'll get to know what are the most repeated topics which are asked in the need examination and allot 80% of your time in on the most repeated topics. Perfect. Apart from that, apart from the NCRT lines, you are not going to ignore your NCRT in-text questions, NCRT exercise questions, and exemplar questions and I have shown you the data exactly the questions are directly copied and pasted from NCRT index NCRT exercise as well as the exemplar questions right and my dear students the last thing which I would want you guys to do for the upcoming 75 days almost PYQ analysis from which you will get the idea of the most repeated topics and focus 80% of your time on those most repeated apart from that Revise your notes consistently. Notes are again going to be the key things while your preparation. Revise your notes. After your notes, you guys are going to do the NCRT. Read the NCRT lines properly, right? Line by line, your guys are going to read. Do the NCRT in-text reading. Do the NCRT in-text questions. Do the NCRT exercise questions also. Do the I mean NCRT example questions also. And at the end, just follow the mock test. I'm hundred percent sure. I'm 100% sure, my dear students, if you are doing this in addition of whatever you were doing, I'm 100% sure you guys are going to score well when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination. This was something which I wanted to share with all of you because this is something which is super important because chemistry has always been your scoring subject, right? And this year also, it's going to be your scoring subject. And all the data which I have given you over here, it's 100% verified data, my dear students. You have seen its proofs as well. So prioritize your NCRT the maximum. And whatever things I've told you in the session, follow them with 100% honesty. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.